For the second year, Pat's Foods and Munising has partnered with local law enforcement to spread good in the community. My UP's Jessica Gosca takes us along the random acts of kindness ride. The holidays are right around the corner, so it's the perfect time to spread some cheer. Follow along as community service trooper Tom Kinnan and I perform some random acts of kindness. For the second consecutive year, Pat's Foods in Munising partnered with local law enforcement to provide Thanksgiving turkeys to community members in need. After last year's success, store director Joe Norton said they expanded the operation to include Pat's Foods locations in Gladstone and Sault Ste. Marie. Um, the idea stems from being able to engage with the community. We love to get back to the community. We are engaged in stuff with the mini Mustangs, basketball, and all these kind of other little things that we can be involved with. And this was just another opportunity we saw as a giving back uh, community engagement piece. With a packet of free turkey coupons in hand, Kinnanen and I set out to spread good. Our first stop, the Munising Middle High School, where the school secretary connected us with two students whose families would most deserve and appreciate a traditional holiday meal. Can you come down to the office real quick? This is a um, gift certificate for Pat's Foods for a free turkey for Thanksgiving. It's called a random act of kindness. And I think you're a cool dude, and I think so that's a cool certificate. So please give that to mom and dad, and then we can have a nice turkey dinner for Thanksgiving. Sound good? Yeah. Awesome. From there, we headed to the Elder County Courthouse, where the juvenile diversion officer and the friend of court presented us with the name of another turkey coupon recipient, someone within the courthouse, the legal secretary, Kathleen Lindquist. Who would be a great person would be Kathleen Lindquist. She's got a heart of gold. A lot of people are identifying like the same person, and that person is you! Sore. <laughs> Another coupon recipient paying it forward was Mary Hayes, who personally prepares and delivers Thanksgiving dinners for others in the community who would otherwise go without. Last year, thanks to the Pat's Food Certificates, Hayes said she was able to prepare 10 turkey meals. Well, we heard that you're still doing this I service am. for the community. I am. And uh, we're still doing this with Pat's food, so we uh, wanted to like, get together again this year. Our final Munising Turkey recipient was a mother who unexpectedly lost her husband this year and said she's been taking life day by day. Her gratitude for the turkey gift and the Munising community's support was clear. Your community is thinking about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Now, full disclosure, our random acts of kindness weren't entirely random, but that may have proved for the better. Thanks to the recommendations of friends, neighbors, and community members, we were able to give the coupons to those who needed them most, or to people like Lindquist and Hayes, who would use them to spread the good. Reporting from Munising, this is Jessica Gosca, My UP News.